Andy, uh, before we talk about end of the season, let's discuss today. Uh, a bit of a topsy turvy game. You went offline, mm -hmm. lost the territory, and then up going behind at half time. And then he was struggling a bit after half time. How do you, how do you see that game today? Yeah, I think, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's a funny place to come is Burnage um, you know it's the first time I've ever been here and it's it, it's you know what not what I expected but um, but the the game itself yeah we, we, we started really really well but unfortunately you know Burnage came at us and you know I, I just like to say they've they've developed a lot since um, we like last came up against them and you know they've got some good ball carriers and at times we were just a little bit soft in defence and that sort of let them back into the game. They gained a bit of momentum and, uh, you know, and, and that was our sort of chat at half time is to come out and obviously use the wind and use elements and, and, um, and, and change the game. And yeah, it, it, it took us a little bit, a bit of time to do that. Um, we didn't start well second half, but, um, you know, 10 minutes in, it, it just unlocked for us and we, we then got into motion and, and we grabbed that momentum back and it didn't stop from there. So, um, yeah, it, really, really weird game. But uh, I think once we, we addressed the issues and pointed out their weaknesses um, and jumped on that, then we were fine. Yeah, uh, it was a bit of a funny piece straight after the half-time break, conceded that try and it was looking like it might get away from you. But uh, they were very niggly at the breakdown and that needed sorting out. I know it was mainly James Oliver calling for the introduction of Matt Harrison and that seemed to, not just that alone, but uh, that seemed to do the trick. I, I think so. I, you know, we, we, we addressed that and you can only work with what the ref's seeing and, you know, if, if the... If Burnage are, are, are rolling north to south, then you know you've got to deal with that, and we wasn't at times. Um, and yeah, bringing Matty on, just you know, his aim was to sort of come in and, and seal them off. So um, we we had the quick ball, and you know he, he did that for us, and he, he carried well as well. So when he had the chance, and uh, yeah, he did. He, Matty did make an impact. He made a good impact. Uh, let's deal with the season. Uh, it was a. It's, it's not what you wanted this year. Obviously, the aim was promotion, but we don't get everything we want in life, and maybe there were injuries, other factors. How do you assess the season now it's over? I think, um, like you say, it's been a it's been a tough one for the for the club as a whole. Um, you know, the 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 injury list is is an injury crisis for us. A uh, uh, first team second team third team throughout and it's caused it's caused the club some problems um i think you know you look at the sideline today there's probably 10 lads watching on the sideline who are 10 starters for us um which has, has gave lads on the pitch the opportunity to you know uh, get more game time in and, and we've developed a lot of lads this year um but again that doesn't take away the fact that we've got 10 quality players stood outside at pitch and um, it's been tough. It's been tough to keep the competition um, uh, of places. It's been tough to keep the motivation going. Um, we've we've tried various methods and and some have worked and we've learnt, learnt lessons as well. Um, but it's it's about you know reviewing that which the, the club is doing and 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 we're doing and we're reviewing how we can be better as a first team, a second team, and and the club as well. So um, we there's. There's hopefully some really good stuff coming, um, and uh, yeah, it's it's all been about you know getting through this season best we could, learn as many lessons as we can, and and keep positive for the for the future. Uh, okay, Evan, I'm sure there's uh, one more question to ask, and that and that is that the support. I know I hinted at it after the game at Priory Park, which was the last game at home last week. But the support you had some great support here today, not just the your players, you had some travelling fans, some people from the club, other teams. The support's been fantastic, I, I, I'm sure you'd like to say that. 100%. And, uh, and, and, a, and also on the, a couple of your backroom staff, I, I'm sure Izzy's had, a, had to do a lot, Izzy Adlington with those, uh, you know, it's probably been the busiest job, like with all the injuries you said, and George obviously working yeah. behind the scenes has been really, really good for those three elements of, the, of your staff. Yeah, and you know, it's the, it's the full staff, everyone involved in, you know, leading this, this uh, rugby programme, whether it be, you know, the coaches, yourself, um, George, you know, George is bringing some great logistical stuff and, you know, that's, that's, that's 
let us breathe a little bit as a coaching team and you know we've got to mention Clive you know the, the work he's done on the defence and, 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 and Chris Jones when he's coming on sessions there's been bags and bags of help uh, behind the scenes and everyone involved just um, you know has, has been great and we've again you know we, we've had a tough one and we've all come together and we've worked through it and and, and we are where we are so um, just a massive thank you to that and and on the club and the support you know it's it's unbelievable you know it's not been some of the games have not been the best games to watch and um, we, we do get that but hopefully you know we've provided the entertainment and and uh, in other games and the support has been fantastic uh, at home and away and um, yeah it's 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 a difference Andy, well done to your team of players and your team of staff and everything that goes into being the first team coach this year. Thank you for the entertainment and uh, Matt Ruby TV, thanks very much. Cheers, mate.